Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today's video is going to be on PGL Antwerp 2022. Before we get to that though, one quick word from our sponsor, Shadowpay. Shadowpay is a great website to go to for all your skin needs. They have a massive inventory of CSGO items of all types and kinds. They offer both player to player transactions and you can just instant sell straight to Shadowpay. And if you do decide to do a player to player transaction, they actually offer an extension that keeps it secure and safe. Shadowpay is very trusted with Trustpilot reviews and they offer a wide variety of payment methods to purchase these CSGO skins. Furthermore, by using my code NALO, you can get a deposit bonus on Shadowpay, so be sure to check it out with the link in the description below. So we've got a brand new tournament upon us, and with that comes a brand new array of stickers. And this time CSGO was not messing around. They actually completely removed the foil sticker finish, aka what is in prior years the pink level of CSGO stickers, and instead they moved the hollow finish stickers up to the pink tier. Now of course, that left a gap in the purple tier, which CSGO decided to replace with all new glitter stickers. The glitter finish is in my opinion a really, really cool finish for stickers. There are a lot of stickers that the glitter finish looks really, really good on. In my personal opinion, they really knocked it out of the park. And for those of you that are non-believers in the new glitter finish, I just want to show you the Furia glitter sticker. The Furia glitter sticker is a really unique one because Furia has an all black logo, but instead of them just leaving it really basic and flat like they would a foil of the same type, instead there's a really cool glitter finish that you can actually see inside of the blackness. And it sort of makes the Furia sticker look almost obsidian, which I think is really cool and it's a great demonstration of how the execution on the glitter stickers was good. So now that we know my my opinion on these stickers, let's actually look at the community's opinion by checking out some of the market prices. And it appears that people really do like the change from hollow to foil and hollow being bumped up. We can see pretty much across the board that hollows are maintaining a pretty solid price that foils were not really able to achieve at this stage, which definitely shows that hollows are more desired by the community, and as an extension it also proves that the CSGO market is based more on demand rather than supply, because the supply of hollows and previous year foils should be about the same, but the price differentials at this stage are definitely noticeable. This of course means that CSGO did make the right decision moving hollows up a tier because they are something that's more sought after by the community. Some people may think this is kind of an annoying thing because it makes hollows harder to get, and while that is true, this is something that logically should have happened. Glitter stickers are also performing pretty well. Obviously there's not much to compare them to because they are a new finish for a sticker, but their prices seem to be maintaining a more logical amount than previous years have shown for the purple tier. In my opinion, I also like glitter stickers more than foil. Now obviously the sticker sale hasn't hit us yet, but even after it occurs, I still think we'll see higher prices across the board than previous years for stickers in the same tier. So all that is basically to say the short term looks good, but let's talk about the long term. What are we going to see in the future for stickers like this? One thing to point out is that glitter stickers are new here. They have not been done before in CSGO, it's a brand new concept this tournament. You can either view this one of two ways, either A, this is a ground floor and getting the original run of these stickers is going to be worthwhile, or you could be more bearish and say that these glitter stickers, and could say this run of glitter stickers is poor and that CSGO will make better ones in the future which will cause these ones to go down as they're an inferior good. Needless to say, glitter stickers are a little bit more up in the air since they're a new concept. However, they look really good and it seems many people are excited about them and like them, so I'd definitely say the trend for these stickers looks a little bit more positive in the long term. As for hollows, this is where I really think there's a good opportunity to make some money, at least before the next tournament occurs. Hollows are significantly more rare than they were in previous years. They're around the same rarity level that foils are now. And with them being as desirable as they are, I think it's pretty clear to draw a pretty simple supply and demand conclusion here. A lower supply of desired hollow stickers is going to increase the amount that are bought and prices will increase across the board. I think after the sticker sale, hollows will have a great opportunity to be a solid investment, especially if we see a similar trend to Stockholm, where after about a couple weeks of the stickers not being on sale anymore, prices start to really skyrocket. If this skyrocketing occurs, I think this will be exacerbated in the hollows and we'll see some really nice price levels. Gold stickers are, well, golds. They're pretty much going to be the same story as any other year. Gold stickers are obviously the most desirable out of all stickers, but I would say if hollows were up at the red tier, they'd probably see higher prices than we're seeing for the golds. Golds have always sort of been relegated to a more collector's type of sticker, which I guess is their intended purpose, so there's not really much to say there. They do maintain the highest prices overall for each sticker though. Now something a little bit more interesting, we do have signature stickers. These ones are actually normal signature stickers. It's not like the previous year where we had to wait till the end of the tournament to see the signature stickers. This time around, CSGO has actually given us all of the 
the signature stickers right now. However, there is a special capsule that will be used for the winners of the tournament that will definitely have a really interesting sticker finish and we'll have to see what those come out to be looking like. There's also of course a chance that those stickers won't even go on sale just because it's a special thing. So it'll be really interesting to see how CSGO handles this new feature. Speaking of the sticker sale though, of course you are going to want to wait until then in order to invest into these stickers. Prices are going to completely drop off of a cliff when the sticker sale happens. However, I'm pretty sure this is common knowledge now, so that's why I didn't mention it earlier, but in case you're new to this whole thing. And of course we have souvenir packages, which are the same old story. We're still using the souvenir coin system, so there's again not really much new to say here. There there's no new maps in the active duty pool. So in terms of souvenirs, we're just working with the same old, same old. It is worth noting that this is the second run of the 2021 collections, so that will probably have the most drastic effect on the market prices. So that is something to look out for. But overall, there's nothing crazy happening in the souvenir department of this tournament. Backtracking just a little bit to the signature stickers, there is actually glitter signature stickers now, but again, I don't really think that's going to change very much. The only main thing to talk about here is that hollows were, of course, moved up to the pink rarity with the signatures, and we're already seeing some pretty nice prices on that simple hollow. But compared to the team logo stickers, the signatures are basically just going to be the same story there. More scarcity on the hollows, and more specific scarcity on specific player hollows. The tournament standings look really weird right now, but it seems that Navi remains one of the strongest teams in the world by far. So maybe we'll see some Navi special edition signature stickers from the later releasing capsule. If we get some really special simple stickers, I think that'll be a really cool thing. And the final topic I wanted to discuss with you guys before we close out this video is the passes. The passes remain probably the safest investment. As we've seen with all previous years, the passes are pretty much a guaranteed profit, so maybe scooping up some extra passes by the time the sale happens is going to be a good idea. Obviously, with anything that's going to be a safe investment like this, you're not going to see immediate profit, it's going to be more long term. But if you think everything else is a little bit too risky for you, this is always a safe alternative. I wouldn't personally recommend it, it's not going to net you the highest ROI possible, but it's definitely an option. Overall, there are a lot of really unique things happening this tournament, and there are a lot of non-unique things happening as well, but I think CSGO is definitely heading in the right direction with stickers, and I think moving the hollows up to the pink category will net some potentially really insane profit margins. However, with anything, and with anything that has so many changes, a lot of this is very uncertain and the market is also uncertain on how to react to it, so that can either mean a lot less profit than expected or a lot more profit than expected. Basically what I'm trying to say is, I don't really have too great of an idea. No one really does, there's too many new things happening. But based off what I can tell you about demand markets, there's probably a really good chance that these hollows are going to be a stellar purchase. And if Navi gets the run of the special edition stickers, I think those simple ones are always going to be a great bet. Anyway guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little rundown on what to look for in this tournament and what to watch. That's my and some of the community's opinion on how things are going with this tournament. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the major. I'm personally hoping that Navi will take it again. If you guys want to connect with me or any of the other great investors in my community, you can always go ahead and join the Discord server linked in the description below. Or you can check out my Twitter for investment tips or maybe scoop up some of the skins that I'm trying to sell. And of course, check out ShadowPay with a link in the description below to fulfill all of your skin needs. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already for more CSGO content in the future. I'll see you next time. Thanks for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me. Peace.